Why and how ready should we be for the next pandemic? Well, governments uh, are there to protect us. And so, you know, they have us practice for earthquakes. You know, they have a fire department with lots of full-time people uh, to stop fires. Um, They have armies that are there uh, to deal with wars. But the pandemic is a disaster that they didn't prepare for. The actual resources required to have a a global surveillance team uh, to make better diagnostic technologies uh, uh, to do uh, quick detection, it's actually not going to be that expensive once the world gets organized and makes it a priority. So active preparedness for the next pandemic, because as you've said, it's not a matter of if but when. How do we actively prepare? And are you seeing anywhere in the world where there's actual preparedness for a future pandemic right now? Well, there's some good uh, innovation, the idea of uh, improving the vaccine so that they block getting infection, uh, making them so they last a long, long time, Uh, being able to make very cheap diagnostics that you could literally uh, produce billions of uh, very quickly. So the innovation side, I think, is starting to move. But Picking how we strengthen WHO, uh, create a special organization dedicated to pandemics, uh, you know, how we staff that, how we get every country to practice. You know, for fire, uh, you've got fire drills, you've got signs. uh, So we need a little bit of preparation so that we actually can stop something before it goes global. Uh, You know, so we'll have lots of outbreaks, but we don't need to have pandemics. Right.